Hello everyone and welcome back to Cities by Steven. You're talking to Steven. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, please hit the, hit the subscribe button, get that bell notification on so you don't miss out on the next episode of Brockton County in Ontario with Hame City. And make sure to hit the like button. The like button helps the channel a lot. I'm uh, just letting you know right off the bat that uh, my audio didn't record for this episode, so I'm kind of speeding it up and we're going to be talking uh, over it after having played <laughs> this, uh, this episode. Um, it, this doesn't happen very often, but I uh, just want to let you know in case you were thinking, oh, the audio is a bit different than normal. Uh, anyway, so uh, let's just start off today by letting you know that um, I uh, did expand the district out this way of Packenhampton, and we're just going to fix a small little issue right here. And if you notice that there's a park named Wood Garden over there, well, that's not going to be the real name of that park, but I'm going to leave it for now because I just wanted to mark that zone as a park uh, for a future date. We also started our ore industry last episode. We're kind of splitting up all facets of production of the ore industry into that whole area, so we will tackle that later in the episode. But I wanted to start off today's episode by tackling a small garbage issue. Um, oh, and uh, just letting you know that I put sound barriers over there as well. Um, anyway, so there's always garbage issues out in the farm area because it's pretty far away from where our garbage pickups are. Oh, there you go. You see it in the top left corner there. So pretty much what we're going to do is we're going to kind of take over some more space by our warehouses on the left side of the map. Oh, apparently crime is an issue. <laughs> so I'll have to check that out in a future episode. Because I don't think I tackle that uh, right here. Um, but, uh, oh, and this fire too. Holy cow. Uh, but yes, this diamond interchange also looks uh, a bit rough. And we will be tackling that in tomorrow's episode. We're going to uh, adjust it ever so slightly to kind of get it into its next stage of being before we may have to completely uh, change the style of interchange. Anyway, so I'm just going to uh, throw in some uh, recycling plants over here, just one on each side of uh, Webb Street. And the idea here is that they will send some trucks out. They're a bit cleaner than landfills. They also look a bit more industrial too, so they kind of fit in a more industrial scene. Um, and also, they kind of look a bit similar to the warehouse structures. Maybe they're associated, right? So if you, thematically you're going for something, the recycling plants don't always look like recycling plants. They can thematically be something else in your city. <laughs> so uh, we don't really need lights over here, so we're just going to do some yield signs. And uh, I mean, technically you could get some dedicated turning lanes there, but I don't think it's going to be a big issue. Um, anyways, yeah, so hopefully that's going to fix the garbage issue for this side of the city. And um, I think it will. It's, it's a good amount. We have a lot of garbage production in or garbage processing in this part of the city, so um, nice little look at this interchange. <laughs> uh, just letting you know that we have despawning turned off on this episode, so for next episode, when we do a traffic fix, um, we will, or you will know that uh, despawning is turned off. Um, Alright, so we're going to head out to our, oh, never mind, just checking, all, checking out all the interchanges. <laughs> Uh, yeah, some of them are a bit wonky, but I like this one. I think that one turned out good, that, uh, that half clover. Um, but we do have a small power issue. So that is something to be aware of. Um, I believe we're going to put a power plant out over here somewhere and maybe even get um, our all of our power coming from this area. Uh, we, so we already kind of have a diamond interchange over there as well as this weird bypass interchange that we built. Uh, so I think there'll be enough uh, traffic flow in this area to kind of uh, use as a multi-purpose area. I was also planning on getting some residential out this way as well, but uh, we'll see if we actually end up going with that. Uh, anyway, so we unlocked uh, with level two of the ore mine, we unlocked some more uh, assets to use. So that's where we're going to be kind of placing today. And if you're new to my channel, what I really like doing with uh, all of the industries and you know I think the the ore industry specifically is really really good for what I'm about to describe so I like uh, splitting off each part of the production chain in a large area I think it really kind of shows a, a, a it, ah, what's the word <laughs> uh, it really um, uses the assets well in that case and thematically too like technically, yeah, you could have the grinding, the, the ore grinding mill right beside the processing plant. That's probably efficient, but I don't know. Anyway, so we're placing these small underground mines over here. Uh, they might not stay until we get 
they, sorry, they're only going to stay until we get the bigger ones. We Maybe we'll kind of combine them with something. But we're putting them into the hillside because that's kind of where metal would be, right? Um, and I'm using this uh, this uh, above ground ore plant that we've used previously as a, a bit of like a, a staging area for the trucks that would be going in or moving ore around from these mines. Uh, they're just flat, right? It's just a flat surface with a couple trucks. So if you're kind of playing vanilla style, it, it looks like a staging area. It, it just thematically, it works really good in my opinion. So what we're going to do here is we're just extending the gravel out to kind of make it look like it's all in one. And then we're going to uh, take out the cliff a bit with the leveling tool. And then we're going to bring the smoothing tool back. And this is going to help just kind of eliminate those sharp corners from the hitboxes of the assets. Um, and then we're going to add in a fence. Yep, there we go. Doing it right now. Oh, I'm, omnip I'm omnipotent. I, I knew it was going to happen. <laughs> Um, and we're going to use the, uh, the ore industry fence because, you know, we're building an ore industry and we're just going to kind of square it off and we're even going to go through this asset because it's not really necessary, right? And we're only really using it for the look of a staging area and we're going to leave the gravel um, going outside of the fence area because I think it kind of works. Like, they're not going to be really raking the gravel to make sure that it's all staying within the fence. The wind's going to blow it and plus we've already kind of cut the corner there, right? So that gravel is going to show. Um, and if you just kind of do a bit of landscaping, uh, it will really uh, help out that that look as well, especially around the corners of these fences here. There would definitely be this kind of vegetation that would grow because they're not going to maintain it uh, perfectly, right? So uh, I think it kind of adds to it. We do plan on doing some detailing videos in the, in the future. Uh, maybe we'll come back to this kind of area and we'll detail the ore um, area a lot, a lot more. But uh, as of right now, we're, this is this is all we're going to really do. We're going to add in a couple small trees as well. Eh, those are a bit too small. Those ones look like large bushes, so that kind of works. Plus, it helps it fit into the landscape a bit more. So you know, we, we could have just placed them down and then just been okay with it because it works for the game, right? But now that we've kind of detailed this off just a little bit, like it only taken a couple minutes, it looks a lot more like it fits into the landscape as well. So by putting the ore extraction over here, we're protecting, or sorry, we're pretending that this is like a metal, like iron or something, or zinc. They're pulling out of the, the ground over here. Um, it's, a, it's a hillside, right? So uh, what we would need to do is they would be bringing that metal into this facility where they're going to be processing it and the same thing for the area uh, that we built last episode where it's more like a sand pit um, you're going to kind of get a bit more of that vibe in the next or later on in this episode um, as right now it's just the small <laughs> staging area kind of things that we have um, but theoretically that's digging up sand from the area it's a sandy area it's where it's where the rivers converge right um, so that's where a lot of sand would be so we'll kind of improve that area uh, next week when we kind of get a majority of uh, all this, uh, all these assets in and the ore facility kind of uh, really chugging along. Um, so we set this one to an ore storage facility because um, I know, so there's sand and then there's ore storage. They, they did the exact same uh, thing for the game, but they look different. And thematically they should be used differently. So um, what I'm kind of describing right here was, as I'm building is the idea with the sand being its own thing is that in Canada, sand is used a lot in the winter for roads. They mix it together with, uh, with road salt and that really, really helps um, uh, with you know traction on the roads if it's snowy um, and it's a bit better for the environment. Well, the idea is that it, that it could be better for the environment, especially near waterways if you don't just don't dump a bunch of salt on the roads and then you know it melts off in in the spring and then the salt gets in the water and that's not good right so um you know ontario has a, a lot of use for sand and that's why we're kind of making a specific sand production facility and uh, it will be more detailed in the future but right now we just wanted to get all that stuff down so we could be begin producing stuff and make money and make glass um, so that we can get our lemonade factory in uh, this episode as well.
The Lemonade Factory is great. It only uses two items. Uh, one from the farming industry, one from the ore industry. Just crops and glass. And that is uh, really good because not there's not a lot of unique factories that only use two uh, items. A lot of them use three. Some of them, some of them just use one, like the, uh, <laughs> the, uh, the, the iron processing plant, right? Um, so uh, we do need to get some more workers out to Maple Quarry. Um, and this is where I'm kind of planning on putting the lemonade factory out this way. And the idea here, hey, look at that already. <laughs> Very quick, level three. <laughs> um, so the idea of putting the lemonade factory out this way is, well, you know, or out by the farm because we've mo now moved away, <laughs> um, is that it's close to the, to the, the, the food production area. So it, it's thematic, I guess. We have our flour mills over there, like food processing. So I think we're going to look to get some more food uh, industry over here as well. So we'll build it up and it's going to be like a food industry zone. And it only makes sense. Oh, see, there's the industrial steel plant. It only uses metal. And I really like to use that a bit closer to the waterfront, which is pretty far from the ore industry, right? So we'll see if we actually do that. <laughs> um, but thematically, I guess it would be because it probably would have been closer to the rail lines um, uh, when it was built. But the lemonade factory is fantastic. Uh, it's a very, very good early, early game. Uh, unique factory and we're gonna kind of use this junction right here this has a four-way junction and we're gonna kind of get it to fit in this little quadrant area around the flour mills uh, we're already importing crops over here this way too so really the only concern is if we're gonna be able to get enough glass out this way so if we kind of look at once we, once we zoom out again uh, the only way that we're gonna be able to do this is through road connections and that is okay because I think we are going to be able to have enough road connections this way. If it's only for the glass too, yeah, see it has to come down that four-way junction, which is uh, quite far, but um, we're up for the challenge, right? So perhaps we'll need to make a, a change at a later date, maybe get a cargo rail system if the supply chain starts failing. But that's what makes the game so interesting. You know, we're going to build this for the needs of the city right now, and we're going to adjust it as, ne as necessary. Um, so right now I'm kind of thinking, like, how are we going to build this? Because we could just throw the lemonade plant down anywhere, but it's going to have a lot of traffic, right? So you want to make sure that you're kind of putting it on a road where there's going to be only traffic for the factory. Um, if you put it on a main road, you're just going to lose uh, a lot of time in getting the production kind of complete um, because it's just, there's just so much traffic, right? We, we have that issue with the bakery, but that was that was a thematic choice. Um, and we managed to kind of get around that with the building spawn points mod, which is something we're going to use here uh, today as well with this factory. It's a pretty big factory, right? And um, Whenever I plant these factories down, I like looking about uh, at like where trucks would normally be bringing the products in. And this is where it would probably be bringing it into. Uh, that back lot area and then those orange silos on the left side are probably where they're going to be storing like the, the crops. I really don't know. <laughs> they look like, uh, like some electrical coils or something. <laughs> but uh, that's where they would be, def all the trucks would definitely be going into. So right now I'm kind of looking about kind of the, the same uh, idea that we had um, with the bakery is getting a back road access. Um, but you know, this factory really isn't built for a back road access like the bakery was. It looks like it's all sectioned off and things should be coming through this pathway right there. Um, it looks like it should be fenced. Like it, it looks like they just missed defense <laughs> when building the assets. We're gonna move it back closer to the road um, and we're going to fence it ourselves. So we're gonna stick with the ore industry fence or oil industry fence this time. And we're just gonna fence it off. We could probably bring the fence a bit closer than we did. Uh, perhaps I'll look at doing that in the future. Because I think theoretically it should be like touching those white buildings. Uh, but we kind of gave the area a bit of um, a grassier look 
Oh, there we go. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> Hey, there we go. Perfect. Okay, so yeah, that, that's pretty good. I forgot, it. I forgot that I actually adjusted it. And we're just going to hold one of Alt or Control. I can't remember right now because I'm not actually pressing the buttons uh, to, to get that to line up a bit, uh, a bit smoother. And we're going to continue this fence all the way down into here. Very nice. Works out pretty good, doesn't it? Just going to bring it right to the end. And now we've kind of sectioned this off in a way that I think uh, really works for the factory asset right on Spruce Street. So uh, we're going to use the building spawn points mod here to uh, to help with this factory. So what we're going to do is we're going to move the original spawn point closer to the office side of a, uh, well, you know what trucks could go right through the middle there, but I don't know. I think the deliveries on the uh, the left hand side would work a bit better. Um, so we're going to put the original spawn point closer to the office side of the factory. But we're going to take off garbage trucks and cargo trucks, and we're going to get them to come right into the facility on the left-hand side here. So we're going to add a point. Uh, we're going to move it around. You see it right there. Ooh, there it is. Put it onto the road. Ooh, there we go. And you just scroll with your wheel um, on those X, Y, and H, and A uh, things. And we're going to put the garbage truck and the cargo truck back on, and we're going to scroll with our wheel on the Y coordinate. There we go. Steven, out, oh, and <laughs> zoomed really far out. Um, so, I mean, theoretically, we could bring it all the way back in here, but there's going to be an issue we're going to see pretty soon, and that's that cars are going to be using uh, the side street here, which I can't see the name of on the left-hand side. Kent Street, is it? They're going to be using Kent Street to access this area, and that's not what we want. So uh, we're going to actually have to bring it a bit closer later on. Um, closer to the green and white silo, not the orange silos. Uh, so perhaps we'll move that spawn point into the building like we previously mentioned. But we're kind of checking the, um, the, the grain silos here because we want to use those grain silos for this facility as well. Um, we're already importing this way and it wouldn't make sense uh, to get even more. I mean, we could to make it more efficient, but uh, then we'd just be spending more money, right? So we're gonna get a pretty big uh, warehouse over here. Are we? Or am I going to change my mind? I forget. <laughs> Let's see. Yep. Okay. So we're going to make it glass because um, we're going to be importing a lot of glass. So we're going to put it on the fill because we want uh, the trucks to be constantly bringing in glass into this area. Um, and we're going to need to hold a lot because if the supply chain breaks, if traffic gets too heavy, somewhere along the line between this um, lemonade facility, our factory, and our ore industry, we need to have backups. Oh, look at that. So we are adding some crops here. We're going to put them on fill. So uh, there's always going to be a lot of crops out this way. So hopefully our, fa our farming industry can, can hold. We shall see. We're going to leave one of them unbalanced. It's always like a bit of a game, you know, playing with uh, with these because technically, like, uh, like we've learned, oh, holy cow, look at those trucks. Well, they're all coming to fill the, uh, um, the, the, the silos. So, oh, just, just ignore that, that wonkiness of that water pipe, please. <laughs> uh, so we're going to look at our uh, roadways here and we're going to um, definitely upgrade this road. We're going to upgrade a lot of these roads here because there's going to be a lot of traffic coming this way. I think we're probably going to be fine over there, but this four-way intersection is probably going get, to get a bit heavy, especially because we're connecting to uh, Packenhampton over on that side. So I actually used the wrong road here. We want to use the asymmetrical road and get the two lanes facing the intersection. And then we're just going to set up a really quick little intersection here. So we're going to turn on traffic light, uh, just the vanilla traffic light, to be honest. Um, and we're going to also edit this crosswalk as well. I guess this should be your crosswalk right there, right? <laughs> so we're going to make it look a bit uh, a bit cleaner um, and hopefully that uh, will work for now and if we have to change it in the future, we will. Um, so here's another section we're going to need to get uh, at least an extra lane in. At least an, uh, a dedicated left is pretty much what we would require. So we're going to bring it right down, down back to this section 
and we're gonna give a dedicated turning lane. Well, sorry, not a dedicated turning lane. A lane where someone can turn into that parking lot. And we're just gonna do this over here as well because why not? Why not, right? <laughs> um, and yeah, this is going to probably work. Uh, but, you know, if the traffic is too heavy, especially because we have a bus coming down this way to supply uh, workers down here into these this, uh, this flour mill section, this food production area, uh, hopefully uh, things work out. If they don't, that's, uh, that's for a Friday traffic fix, right? Um, so just tweaking the intersections, making sure there's dedicated turning lanes. And as you see, just on the left, left side of the factory, you can see the trucks using Kent Street there to turn in. Uh, so I'm kind of looking over here about where we could get some uh, our rail lines. And I'm thinking of getting a spur line uh, over here to the orange tree at some point. But I think we'll wait a little bit longer before we do that. So let's just bump up the uh, production on the lemonade factory to 150%. And let's get building some glass. <laughs> so uh, the glass facilities are being able to function properly, luckily. Um, so we are getting glass out there, but uh, we might as well begin expanding this uh, this whole area altogether. So this is I'm going to call a mulligan on this one. Um, this is for the sand production, but I'm kind of looking at where it could fit in the ore production because you know maybe it's like a pile of of rocks or something and then moving it around uh, but it looks too perfect Ooh. Uh, it looks too perfect for um, uh, a sand industry production area production facility than an ore production facility and it does look really good oh, look at that I'm cheating a bit <laughs> um, and it does look really good with our little staging area asset which is just the, the small ore mine um, as well beside it. Uh, so we're gonna call a mulligan on this and we're gonna move it over into our sand production facility area. Yeah, see look, they combine just so perfectly together. Pretty much just because it's gravel. There's no like headbox, it's, it's gravel. And you know, even if there was, then you can just, uh, you know, use the gravel tool and, and kind of fill it in. So here's the mulligan, we're gonna move them. There we go. And this is going to make it look a bit more realistic out this way before we kind of detail it a bit more in the future. So I think we're just going to delete this one because we don't really need it. And doesn't that look a lot better? I think it does. So I'm just going to build a fence around it. Bring it out a bit more. Connect it up right there. And we will come back to it in the future to detail it. Oh, look at that. We are detailing it a bit. <laughs> uh, and, you know, this this fence has holes in it, so technically, gravel will be flying everywhere in sand, so we'll have to look into that in the future. We also unlocked uh, the oil workers, or or, or industry workers barracks, and they uh, increase uh, efficiency of the, of the area. So what we're going to do is we're going to build them a bit of a facility over here where they can uh, live if they don't live in the town. And we're going to put it close to the ore industry main building and that is because the ore industry main building looks like a temporary office site like a, like say they have like an office building in the downtown and this is like their on-site headquarters so you know I think the workers would want to live a bit closer so we're gonna put a geothermal plant down right there and that's just kind of a temporary holding until we move all of our power over this way because we really needed it <laughs> So we're going to put uh, two areas down over here and we're just going to move them right into the center of this road uh, for no particular reason other than for symmetry and I think it'll look uh, pretty nice, especially if they have cars, right? Uh, also if you are looking to uh, mul like for multi-purpose of this asset, uh, it looks really good as a motel. Uh, like, if, like say you're building like a, a motel off the highway or something like that the gas station or something like something similar, you could 100% uh, use them as motels. Uh, so we're going to throw a bit of a park in here to kind of give the area a bit more life. And we're going to use these gravel paths. Just go around the, the facilities here. I'm going to give these uh, ore wor industry workers, uh, you know, this isn't just a, a place for them to, to, to live while they work. It's a place for them to live, right? 
so there we go we're just gonna uh, make sure we have a clean connection here so i'm gonna turn the grid on and we're just going to do a quick move it change perfect yeah very cool little teeny park and you know what we'll probably come back to this area if we come up if, if we decide to detail the ore industry a bit more than we uh, already have and uh, you know what? I think that's a, a fairly decent uh, workers barracks as well we're gonna give them a bit of a path there to connect uh, should people want to kind of cut through maybe we should change some of these roads into being a bit more uh, basic roads anyway so we, uh, we've also unlocked the rotary kiln which is a huge plant but uh, this is for grinding uh, ore into metal, not glass. Uh, I know it just says ore into glass, ore into metal, uh, but really it should be sand, right? So that's why we're kind of making a sand industrial zone over at the top of the screen right now. So we're going to kind of use, oh, we have a pretty high unemployment rate, so that's uh, a bit important. So we need to keep adding industry then if we have a high unemployment rate. Uh, so we're going to add in some of these, uh, oh, just looking at potentially getting a steel plant in here. Um, uh, yeah, I, I do think uh, it should be closer to the rail line and to the water. It's a bit more realistic. Um, and we're kind of looking at these factors here. The, the electronics factory I'm not the biggest fan of for this, uh, this, for this build. But the clothing factory I think would be uh, a good option and the food factory for sure. And that'll probably go by the lemonade factory as well. It uses some of the same uh, products, but that is for the future because we need plastic for that and we don't even have an oil industry going. <laughs> um, and yeah, this, uh, I think this, this area is going to be pretty efficient. We already have, we have like an interchange that's connecting the ore industry together. So I think we are going to be able to get ore out of here really quickly. Uh, and, you know, trucks can come into this area really quickly as well. I don't really know what we're looking at here. Oh, we're thinking about getting a glass plant out here. I mean, uh, if we were playing on like a pure like efficiency luck, we should definitely do that. But we're gonna keep it as a uh, as a sand only extraction. But this, we have one ore grinding mill there. That's that's thematic. Um, and we're also just looking at tweaking uh, this road a bit here because now that this uh, area is a bit more lively. We need to make sure that there's a bit of a dedicated lane here if they're turning. So we're gonna flip it around. There we go. We have a dedicated lane here. We're just gonna turn off the crosswalks as well. So that, you know, it gives it a bit of a better look. So we have a bit of a an interesting um, square about. We have a square about and an inner square about uh, over here. <laughs> so, oh no, we got uh, the crosswalks back. We'll have to uh, fix that again really quickly there we go so uh, with some dedicated turning lanes oh that's a really cool bridge isn't it that's the industrial uh, road that's turned into a bridge um, so we're just gonna get some dedicated turning lanes here and uh, yeah that should be uh, be fine so this uh, this area has turned out pretty nicely it's very efficient and I think in the future we'll get the rotary kiln in and we'll look at increasing our metal production once we um, once we actually have a reason to. Uh, so we're going to look at the spawn point which I kind of mentioned earlier. They were, they were using Kent Street to access the area. So we're going to just swing it down. Oh, look at that blue truck. He's chasing it down. <laughs> so we're going to swing it down here because um, now the trucks will probably try to take Spruce Street instead and it's going to still kind of work thematically in the way we want it so i don't think the lemonade factory is the biggest ex or the best example for use of the oh well, that guy didn't know what to do <laughs> for use of the building spawn points mod but um i did watch it for a little while after this episode and it does work now i'm not sure if we end up seeing it in this little cutscene but i hope you have a great day everyone and i'll catch you in tomorrow's episode peace out